I have a series of systems. The first systems are two weaves, I mean two loops, and they are basically the diamonds. Oh yeah, well I didn't do it right, but they're the diamonds. I will do it right. Uh, diamonds is like this. But that's a two weave pattern. The tin men is a three weave pattern. The uh, Navajo mini stars is a three weave pattern. Uh, the Klamath net is a three weave pattern. Uh, the tin men is a three weave pattern. And then by using the information that you have gathered in those three weave patterns, you have three loop patterns, all those are loops. Uh, you can make four loop patterns and five loop patterns and you can explode into uh, infinity, basically, of the different kinds of weaves, of, of figures that you can make. And you only need to know basically five or six initial patterns and how to vary them. And to vary them is just simply paying attention to little minor differences in the way that the operations are made. Okay, so my next question is, is that possible to learn mat with joy? Yes. Uh, see, the problem is that math is not really taught in what the math is doing. Math is taught in terms of, uh, big word, algorithm. But an algorithm is just a way to get an answer. So when you memorize the, math, uh, the multiplication table and you begin to multiply 320 by 45 and do all of your five, you know, and carry your numbers and all, that's just the way to get the answer. That's an algorithm. So what you teach with string figures is an algorithm and then a way to vary that algorithm. And once you have gotten the idea that all of math is simply an algorithm, and getting the right answer is always fun. Being smart is always fun. And you can show that you're smart even to yourself, then you're home free.